this community, it, it reminds me of that. You know, you look in the crowd and, and you look at names that have come down generations. And that's the amazing thing about this sport. And that's the amazing thing about this sport at this level, right? And, and everybody does it a different way. And the way that we do it are with kids that grew up in Perry and kids that care about Perry and families that care about Perry. And it's, it's just a reminder of what makes this sport so special because our community, we have kids that go without one. And we have kids that don't have two pennies to rub together. We have black, white, and Hispanic students. We have students from two parent homes, students that are jumping from couch to couch. And when you play football or when you play a team sport, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And, and that's the thing that makes this so special for me and, and having my siblings on the sideline, uh, you know, it, it's that family atmosphere and it's that care for where you're from. And, you know, it, it, people, hey, what's the difference between D1 and D5 or, or whatever it is? That's the difference, is that it's a community and it matters and it matters to everyone there. You guys saw it out there with Liberty Center and you saw those tears from those kids and, the, and those tears weren't from losing. Those tears were from giving absolutely everything that they had for their families and for their community. And, and that's what I'm so proud of with our guys right now. So that was my eight minute soliloquy. Sorry. Coach, Go ahead. Uh, Kino Sultan with Town Radio. This was a number one, number two matchup. How is it a blessing for your team to be number one wire to wire and come out champions against the number two Tigers? You guys want to answer that? You know, it feels great uh, for every single one of us. You know, we're all so blessed. Uh, at the beginning of the season, we all knew we were, you know, going to be something special. And, you know, I really think throughout the season, we showed that we are a group of guys that can really play together and, uh, you know, have fun. Coach, you know, when I was quarterback, no matter what the play was, I'd look at coach and he'd tell me what to do. <laughs> and now time he told me to run it and it ended up being an okay play call. <laughs> James and Brady, when we talked at Berea back in July, your coach was following your expectations. You know, at what point do you feel like this really starts to creep in your minds? After we beat Kirtland, I talked with the Kirtland coach after we won and uh, it actually came true. He told uh, he told me that he wanted two CVC teams to win the state chip this year, and just happened. So it's perfect. Um, he's lying. He has no <laughs> confidence in our team whatsoever. <laughs> but you know, we That's all stayed confident throughout the whole entire season. We all we all knew we were about to be, uh, you know, pretty pretty good. And just playing together, all every single one of us, you know, uh, busting our butts. You know, we came out successful like we wanted to. Only seven seniors. At what point do you feel like the younger guys really stepped in? At the beginning, at the beginning of the season, they, they all. Last year. <laughs> I say last year. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, last year we, we would, yeah, we would have meetings and stuff. You know, uh, dudes getting yelled at for not, even though they're younger, uh, they're still expected to play some upperclassmen role, especially because there's only seven of us. But I just feel like, I don't know, they they all stepped up like they were told to, and yeah. Jackie, you want to chime in there? Um, I think that the younger guys really stepped up, especially on scout team and during practice and everything. It's them, even though they might have been getting beat up completely. Like we have a, a junior or sophomore, Christopher Bezik. He was, he doesn't even go in on offense like with us and like running. Ryan's running back, and he's just getting obliterated on as a scout offense <coughs> running back. But he's running hard every play. He, he gets knocked down completely. All right, like Jaden will lay him out, and he gets back up and runs another, another <coughs> runs the ball again, like for another five yards. Making us, making us do up downs. You know, I should have caught the punt, but I let it go because I don't want to muff it. But looking back, I should have took the punt, but I didn't. But it's okay because I caught a couple runs. Got I don't know how far to go. Like, 30 yard line or something. So ended up okay. We should have got the touchdown, but I don't even know what flag would happen. But it's okay because we ended up winning, so it's all cool. <laughs> Coach, Coach, you. Yeah. Um, you guys were able to move the ball in the first half. I felt like in the second half, the game really flipped when you did go to see that wild pass up with Brady back there. Kind of, what did you see to make you go to that? And then obviously just sticking with that, you were able to get the big play in the 
uh, Brandon's played quarterback his whole life. He, he protested in the summer that said he wouldn't come to our sweet meetings uh, for a little bit. But he's, he's always played that spot. And, you know, last year we were in a tight ball game against Garraway. And when you have a, a front that's having the success that they had, right, there's, hey, I've got to go from point A to point B to get it to point C. Let's cut a point out. Right, um, and and those were some of the things that we did, and it's something that we haven't really been in much this season, but we've practiced. Um, so, it, you know, it worked out well, and and you get some of your some of your best guys out on the field with the opportunity to touch the ball every time, and and I think the best piece about that is the selflessness of both Braden and Walter to be able to do that seamlessly. Uh, yeah, we'd always, we always do like a couple plays of practice every day. And I mean, we, we do it sometimes throughout the season, never full possession, just sometimes in the red zone here and there, just never full possession. But we did it today and ended up okay. <laughs> Scott and his wiki talks. I get out of his way. <laughs> That's our defensive coordinator. Um, you know, I. For our guys, it's just one more snap. Uh, play as hard as you can, right? And and we talked about it on the fourth down play that we got a false start on. If we convert that, that's a state title right there. Uh, that fourth down play on defense, you know, that's that's a state title play right there. And you know, it's it's just a matter of. And then the Liberty Center kids did the same thing, just digging down and giving it your best, uh, the best that you have. And luckily, we came up on the right side of it this go round. Coach, what was the what was the um kind of the last message that your seniors, you know, kind of let, kind of said to the underclassmen, you know, that basically to, you know, go for, forth and forth on to next year and the year on, kind of basically setting a standard for this Perry program. I don't know if they've given a message, like, verbally, uh, but I do know, so, you know, we talk about seven seniors, and, and you guys see four up here, and these are the four that play. So that means that there are three seniors on a very young football team that show up every single day and work hard and they show out for their team. And if, if there's a message, so right, when you're a senior, you're going to be talked about one way or the other when you're gone. And the way that this senior class is going to be brought or talked about is team, selflessness, is that focus, is that hard work. It's not a vocal group despite studios like eight 15-yard penalties this season for talking too much on the field. It's, it's not a very vocal group but they truly do lead by example. And that's exactly what we're gonna to point to because there's no one that can deny what these guys accomplished and there's no one that can deny the way that they approached everything that they do.